Today we will be conducting ASTRO T11, material finer than the number 200 sieve by washing. Equipment used for this test are going to be a mechanical washer capable of rotating with a spray nozzle as well as a number 16 sieve nested over a number 200 sieve. First we're going to take our dry weight of our sample. Transfer that sample into our pan. And I'll show I'll give you guys weights for the class. Uh, so we're not gonna actually get the weights during this test. But we'll take our material now, we'll transfer it into our vessel. Turn the water onto our vessel and turn on and rotate the sample. So what's going to happen now is the water is going to come up and it's going to start overflowing onto our nested sieve. And once that water runs for about five to ten minutes, that material is going to become clear. And at that point, we're going to stop our test and go from there. Okay, so now you can see that the water is starting to run clear. And at this point, we're done agitating it and the sample is clean. So now we need to take the sample out we need to take the sample on the 200 sieve and put it all back in the pan and dry it at 230 degrees. So I'm going to pour the water out onto the 200. And now I'm going to transfer this material into our pan. So now I'm going to have to wash this material onto our sieves. And the purpose of this larger sieve is to make sure that the coarse material doesn't fall into the 200 sieve and damage it. That's clean now. I'll take my coarse material from the top. Of it. Remove all that aggregate. And now I have to remove the material in the 200 zip. And remember, this is material retained on the 200, so we want it to go back into our pan. material in there. We can either decant the water from the surface and rewash it out to minimize drying time or we can just throw it in the oven and let it sit for the next two days or day. Once our material is dry we'll take it from the oven. We'll tear our pan again and this is our dried material. And we'll take the weight of our sample. So the weight of the sample before washing minus the weight of the sample after washing gives us our amount of material passing the 200 sieve. If we take that weight and divide it by our original mass before washing, that gives us our percent passing 
the 200 sieve.